بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یال مدر ٹو آل فرینڈس جی بسم اللہ یال مدد وی آر ریڈنگ دا بک آف ہیلنگ قرآنک ہیلنگ چیپٹر ڈیوائن ریمبرنس سپریم الیکسیا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر ریڈنگ فرام پوائنٹ سکس ای بک پیج سیونٹی بسم اللہ رحمان رحیم پوائنٹ سکس آل دو اپیرنٹلی ڈیوائن ریمبرنس از آف یونیورسل بینیفیسنس Yet, due to its subtleties, its beneficence is, in reality is special. An example of which, in the purports of the last two verses of Siratul Araf, is as follows. Point A. God must be remembered in the depth of the heart, namely the soul, with utmost humility and great fear. If this humility is real, that is, it is deep in the recesses of the heart or is the result of serene and serious Gedea Uzari, it is the germicidal medicine of spirituality by using which all false thoughts are killed. Fear of God is that preventive medicine which protects the heart from such germs. Point B. If this zikr is special and is most hidden, akfa, its pronunciation should be performed morning and evening without loud voice, jar. That is, it should be more hidden than hidden, so that the tongue of heart may be so intensely and constantly engrossed in it that the whisperings of the devil may not be able to touch it. Point C. In addition to these two times, it is also commanded to remember God at other times, for there are countless benefits in abundant remembrance. Surah 3, Ayat 40 and Surah 33, Ayat 21. One special benefit is that through it, the state of tenderness, humility and fear of God is created in the heart and continues to remain in it. Further, this is a good preparation for the remembrance of heart, zikare kalbi. Other, otherwise, it is very difficult. Point D. Angels and awliya become his intimate friends. They are always absorbed and engrossed in his worship, and they do not have even a particle of pride. They purify God abundantly and prostrate to him with the utmost humility. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So in this beautiful paragraph, we are actually reading the purports of two verses of chapter 7, last two verses. Would we like to read the Quranic verses as well? Shaila? All right, Shaila is not here. Saiba. Ji, bismillah. Ji, the last, they're the last two verses of Surat al-Araf. Al-Araf. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is seven by two hundred and five and seven by two hundred and six. And remember your Lord within yourself in humility and in fear, without being apparent in speech, in the mornings and the evenings. And do not be among the heedless. 7 by 206. Indeed, those who are near your Lord 
are not prevented by arrogance from his worship, and they exalt him, and to him they prostrate. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Urdu me parengya. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Surah 7, Ayat 205. Jho log tumhale parvardiga ke paas hain, wo uski ibadat se gardan kashi nahi karte. اور اس کی پاک ذات کو یاد کرتے اور اس کے آگے سجدے کرتے رہتے ہیں اس میں بس یہ ہے نا جی سو دس پیراگراف از ایکچولی بیسڈ آن دا پرپورٹ آف سورت الآرا وچ از چیپٹر سیون آف دی قرآن اینڈ دا لاسٹ ٹو ورسز اینڈ دا وے وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ دیٹ دا لاسٹ ورسز آف ایوری چیپٹر ایکچولی آر ویری امپورٹنٹ سو دیز ٹو ورسز وین وی آر اسٹڈنگ ان دس پیراگراف وچ ایکچولی ریلیٹس ٹو دی ذکر اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ از ریلیٹڈ دس پوائنٹ از ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ سو لیٹ اس انڈرسٹینڈ that how divine remembrance is of universal beneficence. Kainati fayda hota hai humko. When we do this zikr, it is universal beneficence. However, there are subtleties. What kind of subtleties are there when we do the zikr? If we were to understand those subtleties, agar un nizakaton ko hum samajhte hain, कि क्या वजह है देन वी विल बी एबल टू रियलाइज द यू नो सटल इम्प्लीकेशन विच आर देर एंड दीज टू वर्सेज एक्चुअली हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंड वेरी ब्यूटिफुली अलामा साहेब हैज गिवन अस थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फ्रॉम दीज टू वर्सेज विच वी जस्ट रेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर दो सटलिटीज सो द फर्स्ट इज दैट God has to be remembered. अगर हम अपने इमाम को याद करते हैं दिल की गहराइयों से इमाम को याद करना है We have to remember our imam from the depths of our heart. And then it says, namely the soul with utmost humility. बहुत ही आजिजी बहुत ही आजिजी Truly when we are remembering मौला in our heart, in our mind, we have to say we are nothing. We are nobody. It is not us, it is all due to him. Along with that, we are expected to have fear of Imam in our heart. Now we call him Rahman and Rahim. How would we have his fear? And Quran says it, Farman says it, why do we need to have fear of Imam in our heart? When, whenever we talk of fear, we will have to understand that those who do not understand the in-depth meaning, those who do not have the Tawili understanding, for them, fear is punishment. For them, fear is pain. For a smiling mu'min who understands the mugs, the essence, fear is separation from Imam. Fear is duri from the didar of Imam. That is the fear for a smiling mu'min. Now it says, if this humility is real, that is, it is deep in the recesses of the heart. Very interestingly, it says, if this humility is real, that tells us that there can be humility which is unreal. There can be humility which is unreal. How strange is that? If we know this word, being humble, being, uh, you know, having humility, Can it be unreal? And you know, Hazri Imam actually in his Baitul Khyal Farman does talk about um, being pretentious. Imam says that when you sit in Baitul Khyal to do your ibadat, be humble. Do not be pretentious. That tells us that within ourselves, we have to look at our own self. We cannot judge anybody. It is about us individual, right? And we have to realize that when we say that I'm humble or express our humility, do we truly believe it in depth of our heart or we are acting to please somebody? 
Now that is a very harsh kind of thing we are saying. But if we were to have this desire, strong desire that we want to become true moments of Imam, we need humility. The most important criteria for the success in Baitul Khyal Ibadah is actually humility. And we are understanding in this point that humility can be real or not. So if it is not real for any reason, we are the judge of ourselves and we have to find out and improve ourselves. That whatever we say, whatever we do, that has to be in our heart. Otherwise, the zikr is from the tongue. All the words are from the tongue. The heart is with shaitan. There is no benefit at all. There is no benefit at all. So in this uh, uh, point we are reading that the humility is real. When the heart is involved, it is sober and serious and serene. Shanti hai dil ke andar. Sanjeet ki hai dil ke andar. Hai hoi hangawa nahi hai. Shanti ke saath. Aajizi ke saath. And then with Giriya Hozari. It is very important to realize the importance of Giriya Hozari. When we have these characteristics within us, how do we build that characteristic? Through abundant zikr. When we have these characteristics, it is truly germicidal medicine. How interesting that concept is that we learn during COVID that for everything we need this alcohol, you know. Uh, uh, antiseptic and we need to kind of uh, clean our hands right to kill the germs how do we kill the germs which are in our heart it is through this germicidal medicine which is actually zikr zikr aksire azam the supreme elixir the medication which treats all the diseases it is with that zikr that we will have true humility our hearts will be melted. Along with that, we will have Giriya Hozari. The more zikr we do, automatically we will have zikr in our heart. Then it says, by using, by using which all false thoughts are killed. Very interestingly, we continue to hear, right, that in Isma Azam Ibadat, khayalat bhot pareshan karte hai. Through this practice, all the thoughts will also be killed. This is what we've been desiring. This is what we've been wanting since we got Isma Azam and since we have started to practice that thoughts do not bother us. Here, right now in front of us is the treatment to treat all though that which ails us, which hinders us to come close to the Nur of Dima. We have the medications given to us right here. Fear of God is that preventive medicine which protects the heart from such germs. Fear of God is extremely important. It is crucially important that it is his will that he gives. It is his will he takes it away. It is his will if he pleases he will give the ra. If he is not pleased with us he can take it away. Sans, our life, everything we see it's actually through him, due to him. And we have to have fear in our heart, not that our life will end or our property will be lost. No, these are worldly things. These are immortal things. These are temporary with us. We do know that they all will go away. They are here with us until we are physically in this body. When we come out of this body, this does not come with us. But when this body, when this soul leaves this body, Will it go to be with Imam or away from Imam? That is what is the target. That is what is the worry. That is what the fear is all about. That when we leave this world, we want to be one with the Imam. Asal me This is the desire of the moment. If this moment is Salih, is more ambitious, that can be attained during the lifetime. But most importantly, keeping that fear that we always have to stay humble, no, not having any pride, not having any thoughts while we do Ismail and Ibadat, and remembering Imam in our heart on constant basis so we can be blessed with his beautiful Didar. And then it talks about actually Ismail. 
Remember, this book was written for uh, Muslim Ummah. So it talks in a way that it doesn't mention Ismail Azam, but if you were to read carefully, we can see that it is talking about Ismail Azam. It says, if this zikr is special, of course, our Ismail Azam is special, and it is most hidden, akhfa. You know, when we don't show it to somebody, when do we do zikr in our heart, nobody comes to know. But the zikr of Ismail Azam is most secret, most hidden. And very interestingly, it says, that we have to recite the zikr morning and evening, morning and evening. Why morning and evening? We understand that concept now, that the ibadat time is the test time during the daytime. If it is evening or afternoon, it doesn't matter. But it has to be more than just the morning Ismail Azam, uh, Nurani time ibadat. Because the other times are to practice. And when we sit in ibadat, it is the test time. We got to perform. At that time, it's not a practice time. We got to perform. So Alhamdulillah, we understand. And that ibadat should not be loud. We are not going to make any sound. It will be quiet in our heart. It is more hidden than hidden. Nobody would know about it. It will be sp spoken through the tongue of our heart. The way we say jibiya zikr. Then we say dil ka zikr. Dil ka zikr, zikr kalbi, which is happening. We realize, we know it, we hear it too. But there is no sound being made. That is the zikr of isme azam. It has to be done intensely and constantly being with the name of imam. Being with the name of imam. Meaning there should not be any gap. Ya Ali, Ya, ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. That is not the right way. When we do isme azam zikr, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. There is no gap in between for the shaitan to enter. There is no gap in between for any thought to enter. Yali, 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 yali. Very fast, in a speedy way, we do the zikr of our isme azam. And due to that way of practicing the isme azam, there can no whispering from shaitan. There is no uh, thoughts coming in between. Nothing can break the concentration of that moment in salik in doing the Zikr of Isma Azam at that time. Then the C point says, in addition to these two times, it is also commanded to remember God at other times. Now here comes the Hakikati Ibadat. Then we have to remember our Mawla all the time. There cannot be any time which is without the remembrance of Imam, without the uh, Ibadat of Imam. All the time we are doing abundant Zikr. And here we have two more Quranic verses. So let us review that. We have 3 by 40. Jishala. 3 by 40. Surah Ali Imran. He said, My Lord, how will I have a boy when I have reached old age and my wife is barren? The angel said, Such is Allah. He does what he wills. Subhanallah. Jishami. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Surah 3, Ayat 40. Zikriya ne kaha, ay parvadigar, mere Allah ne farmaya, isi tarah Allah jo chata hai, karta hai. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So this is a very powerful, strong verse. Uh, Surah Ali Imran, verse 40. And it actually talks about um, Zikariya alayhi salam. The Prophet Zikariya, uh, Ezekiel in English, I think, he was very old. And when he was told that you will have a child, and he's like, how can I have a child? I am old in my age and my wife is unfertile, infertile. She's crossed her age to have any children. Now this physically, biologically, completely impossible. But what does Allah say? Angel who brought this news, he says, such is Allah's will. And Allah gives whom he wills. And we know the story that Zikariya and his wife, they do have son whose name is Yahya, John the Baptist. John the Baptist. So very interestingly, Zikariya alayhi salam being the prophet, 
he seeing his physical limitations and limitations of his wife he says it is impossible that i will have a child it is impossible that i have a ch- i will have a child now tell me how many of us when we live in our physical life how many times we think we cannot do this this elm is too difficult waking up 4 o'clock in the morning is very difficult to sit in ibadat is very difficult to be doing this zikr for 1000 times it is very difficult to catch up with all the pre reading and post reading for elm classes for book studies it's very difficult how many times do we say that why do we say that because we don't believe we don't believe and the belief comes with the name of iman when there is a will there is a way will of a mu'min is salik to desire to do what they want to do imam's mercy follows jab ek mu'min is salik ye sochta hai ki uske liye ye mumkin nahi hai wo ibadat ke liye uth nahi sakta hai wo class mein ilm hasil nahi kar sakta hai usko yaad nahi rehta hai subah ibadat ke waqt aankh nahi khulti hai uth jate hain to ibadat hoti nahi hai all these problems will continue to happen because that is what is being said mujhse to nahi hota to nahi hi hoga until the dialogue changes until ye ummeed ye aas ye irada ho ke imam ki marzi imam ki rehmat mere sath hai har cheez mumkinat mein se jya sudhi apne evi rite aa cheez upar yakeen nahi karsu kyare par apne ibadat ma kamyab nahi thasu ક્યારે પણ આપણે આ બધી જેટલી બીમારીઓની વાત આપણે કરી રહ્યા છીએ એ ક્યારે શિફાને મળશે નહીં કેમ કે આપણે પોતે જ કહીએ છીએ કે આ તો થઈ જ નથી શકતું તો અહીંયા ઝિકરિયાની જે વાત છે કે ઝિકરિયા પેગંબર હતા અને બુઢા થઈ ગયા હતા ઉંમરમાં બાઈ બી બુઢી થઈ ગઈ હતી અને ખુદા કહે છે કે તને ઓલાદ થશે અને કહે છે કેવી રીતે આ થાય હવે તો બુઢા થઈ ગયા છે અને આપણે જોઈએ છીએ કે હિસ્ટ્રીના અંદર એ લોકોને દીકરો થાય છે તો આ કેવી રીતે મુમકિન થયું એટલે મુમકિન થયું કે ખુદાના માટે કોઈ ચીજ નામુમકિન નથી તો જ્યારે આપણા દિલના અંદર એના ઉપર ઈમાન એના ઉપર યકીન હોય અને એના નામના સાથે આપણે ઈરાદો કરતા હોઈએ અને આપણે યકીન રાખીએ તો હર ચીજ મુમકિનાતમાંથી થઈ જાય છે હર ચીજ મુમકિનાતમાંથી થઈ જાય છે એવું આપણું ઈમાન અને યકીન હોવું જોઈએ then it says one special benefit is that through it the state of tenderness humility and fear of god is created sometimes we hear that that i cannot shed tears this is too difficult i cannot shed tears my heart is like a rock i don't feel comfortable especially you know some due to the stereotype training of men it would be hard for them to shed tears but for anybody and everybody if the zikr is done in abundance with utmost humility and tenderness with the love of imam in our heart fear of being away from his didar when we have those thoughts in our mind we fill up our heart with these thoughts and we do abundant zikr it will melt the heart it is the spiritual signs it will melt the heart and we will be able to shed tears that practice will help us will prepare us to do zikr e qalbi which zikr e qalbi the ibadat of ism e azam in reality which is very difficult ibadat of ism e azam is actually very difficult it is not easy if anyone thinks that it is easy it is very difficult do not be mistaken for it becomes easy for those who do that who do these practices when they are doing this abundant zikr all the angels and the friends of imam all ya they become his intimate friends they are now telling him guiding him reminding him do your zikr refrain from bad deeds wake up it's time for ibadat all these angels will be with him all the time helping him stay in remembrance worshiping the lord and protect self from any particle of pride guru ki to baat hi nahi uska katra bhi hamare paas nahi aayega apne aap ka naam apne aap ko kuch nahi samajhna bilkul na cheez apne aap ko darkar karna insignificant particle when we behave like that 
It is at that time that we purify our heart. We praise the Lord. And we, when we offer sujood, prostrate to him in this utmost humility that I am nothing more. No? I have nothing. I have no capability. It is all due to you and I seek you, Mawla, and I fear being away from you because my sins are so many. My zikr is limited. Despite of me doing a lot of zikr, we have to say that. Why? So it doesn't go to our head. I did this. I am able to do this much. I can learn this. All these sentences are not to be uttered from our tongue. Why? Because we have to be very humble in doing and saying that with Mawla's mercy, give him the credit, give him the appreciation. It is all due to him that we are able to do. So, we have to understand that we have to do our own imam. We have to do our own imam. But the credit that the imam has given, the imam has given us the credit. And what is the imam that we have to do with the guru? Because the guru is the most important thing. कि ननकरो अनो बीज भी अगर दिल ना अंदर पड़ी गया ना तो ये बहुत तेजी थी उगी ने वो जोरावर जार बनी जाए कि पच्चे आपने आँखा आपने रून है ये पोता ना कब्जा मार करी ले तो एक मोमिन ना माटे बहुत जरूरी हो ची कि पोता ने बहुत साव चेती थी संभारी ने चोकसाई थी आबदी चीजों थी पोता ने दूर Akhfa, hidden from hidden, the most hidden. All these practices will help us have giriyazari, practice humility, true sincere humility. Not just the lip service, not just to show, but truly internally humility. Then only we can have these fruits which are there for Mumine Saliki. Ji. Point number seven, both in this world and in the world of religion, only those people become successful, exalted, triumphant, who in true sense possesses intellect and wisdom. However, the rank of intellect is as difficult to attain as it is high. Why not? After all, the intellect is the most exalted and excellent and most valuable and precious of all things and all bounties. It is the peace and paradise of it which is the greatest paradise. Thus, there are many subjects in the different words of the wise Quran related to the intellect. One ex extremely interesting subject is Ulul Alba, those who possesses intellect, which consists of only 16 verses. It will be extremely necessary to earnestly see in these verses with what glory God has praised the people of intellect. What are their virtues? What is their way of living? What is the main or key secret by acting upon which people can be counted among the people of wisdom. So let us now examine two such luminous verses which contain the elixir or the secret of how, like the transmutation of the base metal into gold or silver, a Muslim with good intention can include himself in the group of the people of wisdom through this Quranic alchemy. These wisdom filled verses are indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alteration of night and day. There are signs for the people of intellect who remember God standing and sitting and lying on their sides and reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth. Our Lord, you, you have not created this for vanity. Purified are you. Guard us against the 
chastisement of fire. Surah 3, Ayats 190 and 191. In this heavenly teaching, you see that intellect and wisdom, thinking and reflection, deduction of results, recognition of God, salvation from hellfire, and attainment of paradise are all the fruit of such a remembrance of God, which according to the above mentioned verse, continues in every position of sitting and standing. Thus, divine remembrance is certainly the supreme elixir. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Divine remembrance is certainly the supreme elixir. Zikr Khuda Aksir Azam hai. When we do truly zikr in abundance, it is truly the best medication we ever have given to ourselves. And can we praise the way it praises towards the end of the paragraph that if we were to take this medication, we will not only have all the uh, divine knowledge, we will have intellect, we will attain paradise, uh, protection, salvation from hellfire, shanakt of khuda, everything which we talk about, everything which we desire, it is through the zikr. Now zikr, remember it's a broad term, but the beginning is taking one name and doing the zikr in abundance. The more we walk on the path and get to a higher level, the more askar, not just one zikr. The way in Jamaat, if we were to talk about, you know, all higher majlis, if somebody enrolls in a higher majlis, there'll be two things which are, it should be there, right? Number one is, you know, very limited time of ibadat, practice of ibadat, to re remind the Jamaat who enroll in higher majlis, that the most important practice is the ibadat of Ismayaza. That's one zikr, which is zikr e khafi, zikr e kalbi, which is hidden, the most hidden. And then there'll be some tasbihat, which will be standing up and done by the whole jamaat, meaning zikr. The more we come further in ilm gina, the more zikr we have to do. Because it is through the zikr, all what we seek, we are able to attain. That is the first practice we got to be doing zikr. Stay in remembrance. Uthiya betya rah chalanta. Naam sahib ji ko All the time. The way this Quranic verse also says the same thing. That while standing, sitting, lying, lying on your sides, give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth. All the time, either you are reflecting on the knowledge you have learned, or you are uttering your zikr. You are constantly involved in doing your zikr. Otherwise, your mind, your thoughts are going to go into direction of things which are not needed. And Mumina Salik protects their thoughts by doing zikr. Very interestingly, the most important valuable thing in this world, if someone has intellect, it is not easy to have intellect. Those in the worldly sense go for higher educations and you know gain experiences and they become intellectuals. That is dunyadar. But if there are people who want dini knowledge, they want uh, success in the religious education, in religion, in spirituality, those who are true momini, those who seek intellect, they can also seek it through zikr ibadat and it is not easy it is in to have intellect it's not easy why because the value of the intellect is the most high even when we look at this ranks of hudud -e din you know the rank starts from mustajib the student what is the highest most rank universal intellect look at our body our feet are down on the floor on the ground what is the highest most part? Our brain, our intellect. So intellect, wherever you see, it is of greater value. If you see a seven years old or eight year old child, 
is able to control you know big animals herd of animals hundreds of animals a child can do that these animals who is he is helping and helping them graze they are so big that they can walk over this child the reason this child is able to control and take care of them because he has intellect not that he has a strength so we have to realize that what is the importance of intellect and imam hazri imams so many farman is about intellect when we realize the importance of intellect and very interestingly in quran uh, there is a word ulul alba and this is the second time we are getting assignment in this book uh, in this chapter that there are 16 verses on ulul alba i wonder if anyone thought of doing research on uh, verses which barka which we studied last time today we have another assignment if anyone is interested to search for all those verses which mention mentions uh, ulul alba the people of knowledge danish manlo people with wisdom anyone can pick up that project and do that research and it says here lama sahib is very clearly saying that those who would do that research it will be based on your interest to learn and know and you will definitely benefit from this research because what you will realize what is the beauty what is the exalted rank of those who have intellect how allah has praised intellect how key concepts are actually hidden into intellect it is only with intellect one can understand the tawhi so alhamdulillah there are no words actually to praise the intellect in fact there is a hadith um, in which it says that allah uh, says to allah creates first the intellect and then it's allah says to intellect go forward intellect goes then allah says come back then it comes back and then allah says i have created very many things in the universe but the most beloved to me is intellect that is the importance of intellect because that is the most beloved of the lord and if we want to have that intellect the beginning of having that intellect is through supreme elixir which is divine remembrance so realize in every point we are discussing all different points all different points but the conclusion the action which we are supposed to which we are expected to do is actually zikr so how important is zikr it also mentions that we look at all these metals right low level metals but it is through uh, zikr o ibadat through molding and through all the chemistry and what not this you know low level of metals can be converted into gold or silver in the worldly sense if the chemist does whatever they need to do and they can make this low level of uh, uh, you know metal into higher expensive metals can it not be done in ruhaniyat why can it not be done in ruhaniyat that should be the question in the spirituality if we think that we are sinful we are not able to do this and do that here is the treatment given to us we may not be anything and we are nothing but with his mercy if we are following this you know lesson we are learning and understanding it we will also be made into that expensive metal which can become the pearl in the crown of uh, imam or the you know pearl in his ring we can become that we can come that close how will that happen through divine remembrance what will be the fruit of that divine remembrance we will also have the intellect some someone can say and wonder how do i get intellect here is the answer through divine remembrance one can also get that stage too alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and then this verse jishala would you like to read that g nyamat sahib 4336 
three, no. three, chapter three, one ninety and one ninety one. Yes, yes. Okay. Surah Al Imran, verses 3 by 190 and 3 by 191. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, are signs for those of understanding. 3 by 191. Who remember Allah while standing or sitting or on their sides? and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth. O Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you. Then protect us from the punishment of the fire. SubhanAllah. Ji Shameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Surah Ali Imran, Surah number 3, Ayat 190 and 191. Beshak Asmano or Zameen ki Pedaish اور رات اور دن کے بدل بدل کر آنے جانے میں عقل والوں کے لیے نشانیاں ہیں جو کھڑے اور بیٹھے اور لیٹے اللہ کو یاد کرتے اور آسمان و زمین کی پیدائش پر غور کرتے ہیں کہ اے پروردگار تو نے اس کو بے فائدہ نہیں, ب... نہیں پیدا کیا تو پاک ہے ہمیں دوزک کے عذاب سے بچائیے سبحان اللہ so in this first verse, if you were to look at the transliteration, this is the first reference of Ulul Alba. It mentions those people of understanding. It is only through intellect we will be able to reflect what is in our physical world, right? And the way now we understand all these allegories that heavens mean higher darjat, Ududedin ke andar, earth ke jo maane hai, wo absolute zameen, jo mustajib ki baat karte hai, all these are darjat. How did we learn this? When we took interest in knowledge, when we used our intellect, then only we learned that. So here is one of the evidence that through intellect, we were able to learn these things. If we had not used our intellect, we would not be able to learn that. Now, when we have learned these things, what does it tell us? Actually, it helps us to reflect and realize and be offering this gratitude that whatever you have created, Allah, everything in the world, it is not aimless. Now, nothing is aimless. If we were to look at the heavens or the earth, it fulfills a purpose. But here when it says in the Quran, ke koi cheez tune bekaar nahi banai. The, what it means actually that it has a role in ruhaniyat as well. The point of reflection is not to see this creation and their physical purposes. The purpose is to see behind the veil of their physical presence what is hidden? Removing all the veils and see the spiritual aspect of it. If we look at the heavens and the earth, okay, the physical we understand, we have the heavens and the earth. Ek zameen hai aur ek chhat hai hamari. Dunya ke andar ek zameen hai aur ek arsh hai chhat hai. Aisa lagta hai ki hum kisi bade ghar mein hai. Tamam jo hai hum ek zameen hai hamare pairon ke niche aur ek upar chhat hai. Lekin kya sirf yehi baat hai? इन बात के पीछे जो और बात छुपी है वो ये कि ये दर्जात की तरफ निशानी करता है कि रोहानियत के अंदर भी ऐसा है। Now if we were to relate these heavens with the book study we are doing ascent of soul, that Prophet Muhammad had gone to different levels of heavens. Now that tells us that different levels of heavens Prophet was able to travel when he was going through his mirage, when his kiamat happened. Meaning for a moment in Salik, there is an identification of a ladder. Zameen pe siri padi hai aur step by step uske upar chadna hai. Yeh iska maksad hua jab veil ko, dunyavi veil ko hataya aur piche haqeeqat ko dekha. So how beautiful it is to realize that those momineen who remember him while standing, sitting, lying on their sides, they are the ones who reflect. Why do they reflect? Because they have realized the importance of the intellect. Ulul alba. Again, is ki andar darjat hai. But if we are realizing its importance, we will continue to go step by step. Ta ke hum dozak ke aag, yani ke imam ke didar se dur na ho jai. Us ki chhatar chaya mein baith hai, us ki meethi nazar ke niche baith hai, us ke ishq ko mohabbat ke saath rahe, us ke saath azaad fanayat mein ho kar us ke saath rahe. Everything is possible 
with divine remembrance. G. Point number eight. Why does the state of the human heart continue to change again and again? How can spiritual diseases be controlled? In order to know this, as has already been mentioned, it is necessary to know that two companions are appointed for them near the heart. One is the angel and the other is the devil. It is obvious that as a result of divine remembrance, the angel gets a chance to act and contrary to it from its negligence, the devil. As it, as it is said in verse Surah 43, Ayat 36, and, and whoso blinds himself to the remembrance of the compassionate, to him we assign a devil who becomes his comrade in every breath. The other side of this divine law is that whoso remembers God for him is assigned an angel so that there should be not any defect in the beauties of divine justice and equity because he has sent down not only disease but also its medicine. Subhanallah, 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 how beautiful it is, right? That when we do not have knowledge, you know, there are very many times we complain about things as if that only sorrows are in our lives, only difficulties in our lives, only diseases are there. If Allah has sent the disease, he has sent medicines too. Today, if any one of us suffers from lack of concentration in Ibadah, having difficulty to wake up for Ibadah, or any difficulty in the journey of knowledge, if these are diseases one is you know, sick from, there is medicine for it. And that medicine, we all know. We do take it for granted. We don't realize its importance because it is so easily available to us. When things are easy, we don't value them. Alhamdulillah, may Mawla protect us from test. We do not ever want his test. But what happens to us? Whenever we are tested, in whatever means in our life, when the difficulty comes, what do we do? When he loves us, he does send tests towards us. So we stay in remembrance. And it is so beautiful that all what we feel in our heart, constant change. Constant Hamara Dil Johe Badalta, Kabidar Kabudar. Q Masa Hota, Q Hum Ek Munazam Tarike say Ek Sthar, Poker Johe, Hamesha Zikori Badut Mere, Hamesha Ski Yad Mere, Q Asa Nehota Hosata is Q Ka Javab Hai. It says so beautifully that for everyone, there are two companions appointed. Each one of us has those two companions. The question is, who are we tending to? Who are we feeding? Who are, we, who are we making strong? If we continue to feed our angel by doing more and more zikr, he will be there as our friend, our best friend, protecting us, reminding us, guiding us. But on the other hand, if we don't do the word, we don't do the word, we don't do the word, then the devil will be the power of the devil, and we will be able to do it, and to do it. So, who is the decision? It is our decision. Because we are in this universe, which is in our own, that is the decision. As a decision, who will go in which direction, how will we do it, we will decide. We have this free will. And the way it says in this beautiful verse, and whoever is blinded from remembrance of the most merciful, we appoint for him a devil, and he is to him a companion. जो खुदा की याद से बेगाना हो जाता है, उसको याद नहीं करता है, खुदा ने उसके लिए शैतान रखा हुआ है, उसकी यारी दोस्ती के लिए उसको बेगाने के लिए, वो अपने में मगन है अपनी 
शैतान की दोस्ती में बट फॉर अ मोमिन इज सालिक दिस इज नेवर द केस मोमिन की ख्वाहिश क्या है सांस उसास समरण कर ले एवरी ब्रेथ नॉट अ सिंगल ब्रेथ पास इज बाय कि जब हम खुदा को याद ना करें अपने इमाम को याद ना करें जहां देखें उसको ढूंढें जहां सोचें रू दोस्त को सोचें हर लम्हा हमको उसका ख्याल ये तमाम चीजें मुमकिन में से हैं अगर कोई मोमिन सालिक चाहे अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह जी लेट्स रीड द लास्ट वन पॉइंट नंबर नाइन व्हेन अ ट्रू सूफी बिकम्स एनरिच्ड विद द एवरलास्टिंग एंड इटर्नल वेल्थ of the results and fruits of the remembrance of god and tastes the spiritual death before the physical death or in the other words he merges himself in the perfect master murshid kamil then in the prophet and finally in god it is then written in spiritual letters in his record of deeds zabur book of deeds that the earth will be inherited by the righteous servants of god surah 21 ayat 105 20 jumada 21406 ah 2 march 1986 ad subhanallah subhanallah ji translation bhi padh le inshallah 21 by 105 and we have already written in the book after after the mention that the land is inherited by my righteous servants subhanallah jishmi allah man rahim surah 21 ayat 105 aur humne nasihat ki kitab ke paas zabur mein likh diya tha ke mere nekukar bande mulk ke waris honge subhanallah subhanallah so this is a very beautiful conclusive paragraph of this whole beautiful chapter and it straight forward tells us that mu'min salik it is a forecast which is given in the quran that those who will follow the commands for being farman bardar they are the waris they are the inheritors and those are righteous servants of imam surah ali anbiya 105 105 verse says that when their deeds are good it is written in zabur very interestingly zabur uh, psalms is the book of hazrat daud alaihi salam he was he did not have any revelation but because of his giriya azari because of his zikr habit of every night with shedding tears whatever he said you know through his own tongue being a human all his words allah said that these are my words he did not speak but i spoke from him and this if you want to read this book psalms they are always attached to bible and those are beautiful uh, poems actually which he sang dancing and singing and praising mola that was his love and in this verse allah says actually giving example of daud alaihi salam who was not even a prophet natik nahi the लेकिन उनकी किताब है क्यों हमें जबूर की मिसाल दी इसलिए कि हम भी ये जानें कि अगर हम हकीकी तौर पर फरमान बरदार हैं तो हम भी उसके वारिस बनेंगे विरासत किसको मिलती है अगर बादशाह अपना तख्त किसको देता है जब जाता है तो अपनी औलाद को देता है अपने शहजादों को अपनी शहजादियों को देता है इसी तरह से खुदा ताला फरमाते हैं कि मेरे जो सच्चे बंदे हैं वही मेरे वारिस बनेंगे दोस्त राइचस सर्वेंट्स हु आर ट्रू सूफी हकीकी सूफी सूफी तो बहुत सारे हैं दुनिया में आजकल हकीकी सूफी कौन है जो हकीकत को चाहते हैं जो हमेशा खुदा को याद करते हैं और चाहत क्या होती है उनकी मरना है कैसा मरना है अपनी नफ से अमारा को मारना है हमेशा उसकी ये चाहत होती है हर वक्त हर वक्त वो काम से अपने आप को दूर रखना जिससे मेरा मैं बड़ा हो इस मैं को मारना और मैं को खत्म करना है आई हैज टू बी डिस्ट्रक्टेड इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू आई दैट वी गेट ट्रैप्ड इनटू टू द्रैप्स ऑफ शैतान 
because what does shaitan do you did something you are uh, you have earned it it is your right as a mu'min and sarikin, we submit all our rights to Imam. And what does Imam say? Imam very clearly says, struggle is man's duty. Victory or defeat is in the hands of God. He does not say, you will get to you will get to it. No, if you will get to it, you will get to it. Meaning what? We do not ever say, no, Mawla, I have done so much, 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 so much. We cannot say that because this is his kanun. Victory is in hands of God. So we continue to remain submissive to Imam Farman Barda and give credit to him for all our hard work without expectations of any result. Without any expectations. Because he gives, he does not keep anybody's bar. He says, Mara Mola, Mara Sami to Evo, Jikoi no no rakhe bar. Sami ne ali ek war, Sami ali so so war. That my Mola is such. That he does not keep anybody's burden on him. If anybody does one good deed, he returns it hundred times. That is the kanu. But the thing is that this return is not exactly the way we want it. Many a times we cannot see that return in our physical world. If we are in problems and we do zikr, problems don't go away like that. Because we are thinking that if I am doing this much tasbi, the mushkil should go away. No, mushkil will not go. Because mushkil is there for a reason. If a moment is salik has the akal from ilm, they will realize, they will understand that I feel very calm, I feel very strong. The life has not changed, the disease has physical disease or problems have not gone away, but I don't feel it in the same way. I have energy, I feel happiness, I feel calm and peace in my heart. How did that happen? What did you do? You remembered more. So his mercy does come in a better form than we can ever imagine or expect. Because of our tiny intellect, akle garizi, the needy intellect, we think this physical disease, if it goes away, everything will be okay. If this business works, everything will be fine. But business does not get better, despite of everything we need, we do. But his mercy is there. If we are with knowledge, if we have this intellect, we will be able to see his mercy. And he's always desire, his desire is always to do best for us. Only Mominees will understand that. And if we are true Mominees and the seekers of Imam's Didar, that Nurani Didar, the condition, the important thing is that we have to truly die while living, to truly enjoy his Didar and know the blessings of Imam which he bestows on a mu'min asali. So, spiritual death, mutu kabla anta mutu is the desire of a mu'min asali. The way Quran says that every nafs, every soul will have to taste the death. Death is not a food, but Allah says that we need to taste the death. And if we were to tell anybody you are going to die, they'll be scared to death. Oh my God, I do not want to die. But for Mu'min and Salikin, they will be very happy. Oh, this is my day for happiness, festivity. I am going to be with my Imam. That is the desire. The heart is not attached to family members or physical things or physical belongings. Nothing. The heart desires only being with one, one with Imam. So that is the news of the happiness for a moment in Salih. Because that is the day, if it happens in physical life, Mubarak Baad. If it happens after dying, Mubarak Baad. But the moment in Salih is actually merges himself with Murshid Kamil, the perfect master. And in his book, in his book of deeds are written in spiritual letters. It is not physical book like our books. It is a spiritual lettered book, which is written in a book of record. Angels are writing every moment. They are writing it. And due to what is written in that book, we will inherit the kingdomship. The way it says for Hazrat Ibrahim, Fakad Ataina Allah Ibrahima. Fakad Ataina Allah Ibrahima Kitaba wa Hikmata wa Ataina Hum Mulkan Azima. That Hazrat Ibrahim was given the book 
Okay, I have to say it. I'm sorry. Fakad atayna ala Ibrahim al kitab wal hikmata. He was given the book, the wisdom, and the great kingdom. The progeny of Ibrahim were given these three things. Why? Because they were farman barda. And the message, the lesson for us is also same that if we walk on the path and we are farman barda, we are also made the kings. You know, that is why this beautiful zikr, we say, Shahzada Yagana hai, Shahanshah hai be misal. So the Shahanshah, there is a word Badshah and then there is a word Shahanshah. What is the difference between the Badshah and Shahanshah? Badshah, we all know that it is king. But Shahanshah, which is the emperor. Shahanshah, which is the king of others, is the king of others. Emperor makes the king. This is what emperor is saying to us. That if we were to go through this spiritual resurrection, meaning dying while living in our lifetime, transforming the carnal soul, we will be made by the Shah, by the Shahanshah. It can all happen for Mu'min and Salih. Then in Ruhaniyat, we become the inheritors of Imam, his virus, true Ruhani Bachi, when Mawla says, my spiritual, my beloved spiritual children, that is what it means, that he is the Shahanshah and we are his children. But always those children who are worthy of becoming kings, they are the ones who are given the, given the kingdom. And this journey of getting to become a king, become the worthy children of Imam, it starts from divine remembrance, the supreme elixir. So how beautiful it is to realize that this medication, powerful medication is really with us. And each point we have read, nine points we have read, we have understood, we have learned something different about divine remembrance. So we have to actually read, reread, reflect. And when, you know, we have absorbed the learnings and after that when we do zikr, it will come out of our heart because we will have all back of in our mind that, this is the powerful medication. I have to take this medication with complete oneness in my heart, completely connected with my soul and heart, becoming humble, becoming very, very true in shedding tears, true humility. And then you see the fruits. My beloved spiritual children, who is that beloved spiritual children who will become the king of Imam in the spiritual world? Each one of us has that potential. Each one of, each one of us has that spark. And we pray to Mawala Bapa that, Ya Mawala, we all want to be successful. Imam says in Baitul Jal, you will, I pray for you that at least once in your lifetime, you will become successful. Meaning, Imam's Duash is with us. Only we need to do our part to activate that dua. Shukran lillah, alhamdulillah, ya mawla mehrban, please have mercy on us mawla. Ameen. Shukran lillah, alhamdulillah. Ji. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. I have no words to tell you. It is so beautiful. You know, when you were concluding it, I was thinking, as a divine elixir, if you just say the essence, if you want Dida, if you want Il, you want Marifat, you want Akal, you want Ishq, you want Shukar Guzar, you want Miraj, you want Qiyamat, you want Fana, you want Baka. Everything is through Zikr. Everything is through divine remembrance. So it was amazing that we I would say I, I'm very weak, so I keep asking these questions that how Mola Baba, how Mola Baba, how this will happen, how this will come across. And, you know, every time these reminders are given and it's amazing that how it feels that we have the divine heavenly medicine and we keep still asking the same questions. You know, so it is amazing. Um, it was so beautiful. Um, shukar, shukar Mola, shukar Mola. Um, friends, if you have any questions, any comments, you can come forward.
I do have one. Uh, it's not a comment, but uh, this is related. First of all, mashallah, it was amazing. It was beautiful. Uh, they say, you know, um, you get goosebumps, but it's actually not thandika. It is uh, literally that ru kari ho jati, and the soul, you know, is awakened. That okay, this is what this is my food. Give it to me. Esi esi halat ho gayi thi. So um, very nice, mashallah. So um, I was reading an article of uh, Ali Lakhani, and he's also explained about that intellect. He says is actually he just just he just says that it is the eye of the heart, the intellect. And uh, when we deeply think, yes, you know, like then only like it, it is the kalb, jaha ek aankh hai or or ya eyes hai or uh, and then it's very beautifully said. And the way you said it, I quickly pulled out that article and I said, oh my God, here it is. That's what she's saying. So it is, you know, seconding and seconding again and again. Mashallah, thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. Maybe continue getting. Um, uh, so much of uh, you know knowledge from you, Mola Baba, you, and then from you to us, Mashallah. Thank you so much. Amin, Amin. So if you know, in earlier chapters we have read about the uh, definition of qalb, qalb meaning heart as well as intellect. So you were defining the qalb, which we have studied in a um, uh, few chapters ahead uh, earlier. So review that, you will enjoy it much more. Sure, inshallah, inshallah. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Friends, um, I know it is late, but we'll take one more question or comment. You can come forward. Ji Shabir Sahib. Yeah, Yali Madad, Yamad Sahib. Do you know, in, in that section where it talked about the um, special zikr, and uh, we are referring to zikr ibadat, morning and evening. And then you talked about practicing that and then sitting in ibadat. Does that mean that it's, um, it's, that's the zikr you need to practice all the time? I'm not saying you don't do others and you don't do kiwi azari tasbi, but is it something that we should be practicing a lot more of? Uh, is the yeah. ibadat is our, you know, our ball? through the day yes you should you must you do need to say your bowl during the daytime the reason being that the way we need to practice our bowl which has to be fast so it has to have good speed without making any mistakes in the pronunciation saying it with your heart that practice actually you we need to do during the daytime so we don't make mistakes during that time we are not going to practice how are we going to say it or how should we sit to be able to focusing at that time that uh, you know homework is different time of day it could be evening afternoon whatever whenever you have the time but when you sit in nurani time you are ready to perform you are ready to take the test you sit in ibadat now, there are different levels of questions which come, Shabira. So that is one important thing that, yes, you do practice your bowl, your ismay azam during the daytime. And you do have understanding that it is not only limited to our practice of bowl. You do have treasure of different zikr, which we call plural is askar. You have treasure of askar. We have to be able to do all the different askar to actually uh, have that many names of Imam in our heart, which we fluently can uh, say it with our heart and mind, you know, um, and really incorporated with it. When we say the name, our heart and mind is with it. It can only happen when number one, we know the meaning. Number two, when we practice it regularly. When we do that, then it truly becomes part of our being. It comes out of our being. Every particle of our soul connects to that name. So definitely uh, we need to uh, know the meaning and do multiple askar along with our practice of both during the daytime, during the 23 hours. And then at Nurani time, Ibadah time, we sit comfortably and start doing the 
zikr. You know, in Gujarati Farman of Imam Sultan, Mama Shabatul Kyal, Imam uses those words, right? That chok saithi ibadat karo. Like, be very focused and concentrated. Do not do here and there. Do not get here and there. Do not think of here and there. And focus on, you know, your shabd, your word. Hazrat Imam is really, really kind. The way he says that even if you, you know, sit in ibadat and you fall asleep, it is okay. But the key is the change which I was talking about that um, I think it was asked in the last class. So I'm combining with your question, Shabira, that what if we cannot wake up and, you know, we have a difficulty waking up or sitting for ibadat? That is the, uh, uh, how do I say it? It is given. It is expected of us because we made the promise. We voluntarily went to Imam and we asked to be given this miasm. So we have to fight all our laziness or tiredness or any difficulties. We have to get up, sit up, niyat band ke ibadat karni hai. After sitting in ibadat, if one falls asleep or has any difficulty, Imam says, don't worry, I'm holding your hand. I am with you. Push through. I will be with you and there is no failure. So I hope, Shabira, you were able to get your yeah. answer. Those who had asked yes. me last time, yes. I have added that to Shukar. Very, very helpful. And yes, um, I think it's been reiterated before, but I don't think I had the eye that if I had read this Quranic ayats and verses that were discussed, that I would think of our zikr, I would think of Bangi. It was uh, amazing. So Shukar, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, Shabira, because we are trying our best because, you know, um, we don't uh, understand Quran. We fear Quran. So we are trying through these chapters. I missed one of the verses, actually. Shala pointed it out that we are trying to at least read the translation and whatever we can understand. You know, it is a good idea to really do the pre-reading, post-reading, highlight these verses. It will bring so much of joy and happiness that we are readers of Quran and we understand these verses and we know in what context we have studied. In Book of Healing, through this chapter, we have understood, understood these verses. And it, it's a great achievement, I would say. It's not a small deal that we are able to pick up Quran and highlight verses. We never thought we could do that. Now we are able to do that with this, you know, book study club. So Alhamdulillah, I would encourage every one of you, the way Shabira is happy and, and, you know, she's excited. I hope that everyone is and everyone is doing that. Thank you. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Just wanting to share, um, you know, with the last question. Um, there is a beautiful lecture actually um, from Yaman Saiba and she's answering that question about difference between Zikr, Ibadat and Bandagi. Um, I've posted in the chat for friends to go ahead and listen. I think that would help really uh, a lot more with um, Shabira Saiba's question. Thank you. Thank you, Shukran. Thank you, Niamat Saiba, for a beautiful session. Um, it was really amazing. Inshallah, may Mullah give us the courage to apply all of these things and um, taste the divine elixir um, in our life. So, Amin, thank you so much for the session. Thank you. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. Thank you, friends. Yali Madad. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. Thank you to Navin also. You are doing such a great seva, you know. I never get a chance to say thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you, Shala. Thank you, Shankar. Yali Madad. Yali Madad, Yali Madad, ma. Yali Madad, Yali Madad, ma. Yali Madad. Thank you so much. Yali Madad. 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 Yali Mad